a UFO up to five times the diameter of the sun has been deflecting solar energy since September of 2014, according to new video analysis of data from NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. A video analyzing SOHO's data has shown how the sun's solar activity is being directly impacted by a massive object that has changed its position several times around the sun's southern hemisphere. Critical comments point out, however, that the darkened areas in the SOHO images are naturally occurring coronal holes on the sun's surface. So there's a very big question on the table here. Is the sun being impacted in some way by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization, or is it all due to a misinterpretation of a coronal hole? From a November 15 video analysis, two of SOHO's instruments for measuring the sun's corona, LASCO 2 and 3, show how solar activity is affected by what appears to be a giant, invisible hemispheric-shaped object apparently deflecting or absorbing the sun's energy. The object appears several times covering periods of several days at a time from around September the 25th to November the 9th. The massive object is clearly impacting the sun in a way where no solar activity is taking place in the affected region. The video shows how the solar activity builds up along the edges of the object as though the solar energy is being deflected away. According to the video, this is because the massive object is a protective shield for a nearby UFO, an advanced extraterrestrial spacecraft. An alternative explanation is that the object is a massive solar collector that is invisible. A radical new design in solar energy generators has emphasized the superiority of spherical shaped glass objects for solar energy collection. This raises the possibility that the massive object is not deflecting, but it is actually absorbing the sun's energy in a manner similar to a hypothesized Dyson sphere made of a glass-like substance. The object in the SOHO images may be a spherical lens version of a Dyson sphere, a Dyson lens created for the purpose of collecting a massive amount of sun's solar energy. Critics argue, however, that the UFO phenomena near the sun are naturally occurring coronal holes. Now, according to Wikipedia, coronal holes are areas where the sun's corona is darker and cooler and has lower density plasma than average. The sun contains magnetic fields that arch away from the corona when they do not fall back, that is when the coronal holes appear. Thus, solar particles escape and create a lower density and lower temperature in that area. Now, if this is the case, for example, a massive coronal hole can be seen in the southern hemisphere of the sun. What the coronal holes explanation fails to adequately answer, however, is how escaping solar particles, that is solar wind, can form a lens shield-like darkened area facing towards the sun rather than away from it. To picture this, think of how when a rock is thrown into water, the waves form ripples that have circular shape heading away from the impacted area rather than towards it. If a coronal hole caused the darkened area seen in a SOHO L2 and L3 instruments, why would the spherical shape have as its center an area well outside of the sun rather than somewhere inside the sun, which is the origin of the escaping solar particles or wind? If the UFO phenomenon in the video is not a naturally occurring coronal hole, this leads to the remarkable possibility that the sun is being used as a giant solar battery by an advanced civilization capable of creating lens-shaped spherical collectors of solar energy that is up to five times the sun's diameter. If so, then there may be important lessons here for humanity and how to more efficiently use the sun's energy. In the future, humanity may be able to develop spacecraft and cities that can deploy massive glass-like hemispheric domes around them for optimal solar energy collection. Now, this is clearly all speculation. Question remains, is what is this?